Hello, and welcome to another screencast in the Introduction to LaTeX series. In this screencast, we're continuing to look at LaTeX environments that handle common tasks, and in this video, we're going to focus on making tables. Our goals for this screencast are very simple. We're just going to make a single, simple table for text entry using the tabular environment in LaTeX. The environment in LaTeX that controls table making is called tabular, and like list environments, tabular takes place in text mode. So let's learn how to use tabular by way of a simple example. Here's a simple table with three rows and three columns, one column being a place for row titles. I've already made out this table, and we'll recreate it in LaTeX and learn the syntax for the tabular environment as we go. We first open the environment by typing slash begin curly brace tabular close curly brace and then close it off by typing end tabular. Now tabular takes a very important argument that should go just after the begin tabular command. This is going to go in curly braces and for this table I'm going to type open curly brace R a double vertical bar lowercase c a vertical bar another lowercase c, and then close the curly brace. This argument specifies three things. First, it tells the tabular environment how many columns we're going to use. That's evidenced by the number of letters that's inside the curly braces. In this case, there are three letters, one for the column of row titles and two for the co other contents of the table. Second, the letter that I used specifies how the content will appear in its column. The R that I'm using for the first column will mean that I want to write justify the contents of that column. The C for the second two columns will center the contents of those columns within their columns. There's also a third option to use a letter L if I want to left justify any content. So that arrangement of letters means that the content in the first column will be right justified and content in columns two and three will be centered. Thirdly, the vertical bars that are in the argument specify whether and how many vertical lines will appear in the table. The table I showed you earlier had a double vertical line after the first column, then single vertical lines separating the other columns. And inside the opening argument, we're just simply going to mimic that arrangement with vertical bars typed from the keyboard. With that information at the beginning of the table, we can now enter in the content. As I'm typing, notice that there's nothing special going on here. This is just plain text, except for two things. First, when we're ready to end one column and move to another, we use an ampersand, just like in the align environment. So as we keep entering the first row, the second thing to know is that we, we, when we reach the end of a row and are ready to move on to the next row, I use a double backslash to end, to end the row. Now let's enter the second row. And now the third row. Once we reach the end of the last row, we don't need to end with a double backslash since the table is done. If I compile this much of the table, we can see what we have. The only thing missing are the horizontal lines that I had in the original table that visually separate the rows. If I want to add those, I'm going to go to the end of each line in the LaTeX source code and type slash H line at the end of each row. And when I recompile that, you will see the horizontal lines appear in the table as I wanted. The nice thing about the tabular environment is that it makes it very easy to add new rows. If I wanted to go back in and add a row later, I just add another line to the tabular environment. Let's add a fourth row to this table that includes some math in here, showing that we can use math mode inside a table that normally would contain text. The width of each column will automatically adjust to fit the contents of the column. However, if you make the columns too wide, the column will run right off the edge of the page. There are advanced ways of handling this problem, but for our basic approach here, just be mindful of how large you're making your columns and try to keep them to fit on the page. And that's it. We've constructed a simple table using the LaTeX tabular environment. Thanks for watching.